Hi, in this video I'm going to be using ArcGIS Pro and uh, Excel to bring in coordinates from an Excel spreadsheet into ArcGIS Pro. And you can see here, these coordinates I have are longitude latitudes. Um, a few points, you want to make sure that you pay attention to the negatives and positive signs. Make sure those are correct. Um, and also for ArcMap, the best is going to be bringing in, or for ArcGIS Pro, is the best going to be bringing in uh, decimal degrees. So if it's not decimal degrees, you would want to convert those into DMS. Uh, or, sorry, from DMS to decimal degrees. Anyways, once you have this all good, we're lucky because um, ArcGIS Pro can work with Excel natively. And so you just want to save this file as an Excel spreadsheet. But one thing is that you want to make sure to do is close the Excel spreadsheet. Um, this is going to prevent any sharing violations from happening. And so once you close it, then you can go ahead and launch up ArcGIS Pro. And so here's Pro, and, and what you can do is just start without a template. That's what I like doing. Um, once I get my project up and going, um, some people get a little disoriented with ArcGIS Pro at first, but the thing is, is that we're going to have to have a new map in order to add the data into it. So go ahead and click on New Map. That's going to bring up a new uh, map here that's going to have a default uh, base map on it. And then once you get that running up, uh, the thing you want to do next is add data. And so if I go here to the add data button, um, you click add data and you can go ahead and navigate to the folder that you have that Excel spreadsheet. I have mine on my desktop. And so once I get to my desktop, I'm going to go ahead and double click into that Excel spreadsheet. When you double click into it, you're going to see that you're going to have the individual sheet. Um, you might have book one, two, and three if you had default settings for your Excel. Most likely it's on book one in your case. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and add mine from coordinates. And whenever I add that in, you can see hanging here as a standalone table. Anytime I add a standalone table in ArcGIS Pro, I like to check it and make sure that everything imported incorrectly. Go ahead and open it and see it here. And then you can see my lat longs came in and even my name. Um, another thing you could do is actually check out um, what is going on with your field, if it's a, uh, what type it is. And if you can hold the mouse over it, let's see if I can get this to do it. You can see that it's a type double, which is great. I move mine over type double. And you want this to be either double or float for the numbers. If you're having trouble with this coming in as text, you might want to step back over to Excel and see what settings you have there that are maybe breaking that. You don't want it to be like this where it has a type of text. That won't work uh, very well with the displaying. But once you're happy with uh, this and you checked it out, next thing that you want to do is you want to right click it and you want to do display XY data. And whenever I choose dis display XY data, you can see here it opens up this side pane uh, for XY table to point. And we're going to input in our course that um, our output feature class, um, that's where it's going to be saving it to. Um, a lot of times I like working in the, um, the database uh, of the map, so it's fine if you, if you save it there. Um, just go ahead and just maybe change the name of it to something that you know that you like. Um, so that's just something to keep in keep in mind. Uh, for the X field, that's in longitude latitude. X is going to be the longitude, and so it's already being tried a little bit smart and picking it up automatically, which is great. Um, but you just want to make sure you correspond to the names here in your tables. And then the coordinate system, you can see it's defaulting to WGS84, which is the, which is the best coordinate system to use. Um, most cases, 99.9% .9 of the time, you're going to be working with WGS84. If you are in some other uh, coordinate system, it might still have the, the word WGS84 in it. Like, say, it might, it might say WGS84 Mercator. That is not a good system. You want just to say WGS84. And so in that case, go here and change it. But once you have that set, you're ready to go. You hit Run, and that's going to create it. Normally, you should add in automatically. So let this run. And here we go. We have our points. What's nice about this is that you want to verify that those points came into the right places. And I can see from the base map that they did. And so I'm done. Um, what's cool also about this is that if you look at my attribute table, you can see here that the information that was in the table, like the name, still comes through. So this is stuff that this could give you an opportunity in Excel to add information to that attribute table, other information. Uh, so whenever you import them in, they'll automatically come in. Well, that's how that's how you add XY data from um, Excel into ArcGIS Pro. I hope you enjoyed. 